Welcome back everybody, Kai Swans here with another episode of Football Manager 2017 with Kamal and Town and since the last episode, three games to tell you about and a transfer, yeah, um, we, we made a transfer not, not, actually it is a big one, I'll be honest uh, Calamo here, Aston Villa youth player, former Aston Villa youth player we got him on a free and he looks pretty damn good essentially he's just an upgrade on here Lemony if we compare the two you can see it doesn't quite maybe have the defensive but like you see here it looks like it's really bad but it's just tackling penalties and marking so I'm not overly fussed about those three um, not quite as hard working not got the same anticipation concentration slight worry but the key striking stats and some of the more playmaking aspects he's so much better he's good in the air not quite as strong unfortunately but more stamina a bit faster so yeah this guy is now our star striker I reckon and he'll be starting in a deep lying forward role unfortunately he's not registered for Champions League so we've got a different squad for that but first let's have a look at the schedule we've won three games um, one of them this one here was very close um, by comparison uh, previously we'd been coming close but dominating the game this one was far closer than I first imagined it would be uh, and then Port Talbot we beat them 2-0 fairly comfortable uh, put out the strong side and then we beat Bangor City 4-1 with Colm here getting a goal on his debut uh, and Lemony and Phil Wright were in bad form so I decided to play them in this game and then I wouldn't play them in Champions League game so they proceeded to score three goals between them which gives me a bit of a selection dilemma so I've brought Lemony in kept Lemony in uh, and brought Aiden Smith on for Phil Wright. Phil Wright has made a lot of mistakes. If we have a look here, uh, he's made a lot of mistakes so far this season. We can see um, 14 in 10 games. It's quite bad when you compare it to other strikers who's played similar amounts of games. Um, yeah, I'm sort of I'm inclined to let Phil Wright stay on the bed. But yeah, uh, that's that's about it for the team. Um, and the rest of it is fairly similar. Unfortunately, Dylan Reese got another couple of months out. Oh no, no, a couple of weeks this time it was out. Jack Watt has also just got an injury, and Halle Brown got another short-term injury. But that's not too bad. We got goalie, we got Morrison, and Quartes was a backup player. I'm about to sign another player, defensive midfielder, essentially a Quartes replacement. This guy uh, can play centre back, but can also play midfielder. And is, if we just compare him with Quartes, is a complete upgrade. Um, there you can see it. Look, complete upgrade. Our opposition today incredibly strong. Four three three. Now they're playing actually. A bit worried about that, but they've got some amazing players. Uh, Herrera and Kubas in midfield are really jumping up to me, the Mexican, 31 now but such a well-rounded player and Kubas, the youngster in the game, 25 years old now, he's got some amazing mentals on him, four international caps, Lucas Averio, also really good, the Argentinian, Clayton up front, the Brazilian, very fast by the looks of things, uh, Sousa, he looks pretty decent, only 21, he's got plenty of room to improve, essentially they've, wow this guy's good, this Turkish, Farouk Sahin, he's good, uh, I'll give him that. Essentially, they've got a very good squad. Kieran Trippier was not expecting that. 31 year old Kieran Trippier is in their side as well, so yeah, that's something interesting for them to have. But yeah, hopefully, we can hold out, not get embarrassed again, and that's about it. Um, our first highlight game is going our way, not anymore. Porto can be forward with it now, they've got so many numbers in midfield and quality players. Atario out on this right hand side, passes the man, crosses Clayton. Very well worked goal by them, to be fair. Yeah, um, 11th minute in, 1 0. Here we see it, Atario quickly sk ooh, skips past his man, left footed, low cross across, Clayton passes his men uh, and gets there just ahead of them and taps it into the back of the net. Pretty nice goal by them and a very midfield dominating tactic compared to our 4 4 2. We've got another highlight now, top R to Simpson. Can we get a ball forward? We can. Smith, unfortunately, probably won't get there. Uh, and they have a chance to clear it forward now. Marcus in, in goal. I don't look at goalkeepers often for clubs. He looks, he's very good, one on one's amazing, reflex is amazing, yeah, a very good keeper, and they're coming forward now, Nekati on this left flank to Sousa, Sousa the playmaker, has got so many options, and ooh, he shoots just wide from outside the box, and we've been let off a bit, first half is only 1-0, as it currently stands, and yeah, we've not done too bad, I might take off Lemony, he has not has not delivered unfortunately today uh, and I'll be aggressive and say show me something else but early in the second half I reckon Lemony will be coming off. Two substitutions, Lemony off, uh, Bishop Wisdom on and Liam Angel off, Billy Sass Davis on. Uh, both of them not having really good games and finding it difficult to decide who else to take off. There's a whole load of players out there who aren't performing unfortunately today 
and they just need, need to make a decision and they've got a corner Kubas edge of the box out to Zusa it's going to get a lovely ball in now Bishop Wisdom had his claim we actually have a chance to counter Aidan Smith um, given a start a rare Champions League start for him loses the ball and they're coming forward now Zusa out wide Nekti has plenty of space to work with the left back beautiful ball in Pilias does header it clear only as far as Herrera Mexican to Kubas Herrera nice ball out to Farage Farage into Clayton and it's 2-0 pretty well worked goal by them to be fair um yeah I'm um, I've don't have too many complaints I, s I still don't know who to take off <laughs> and oh wow that's an empty stand up there um and here we are Farage across the box ah oh, that's so an own goal how's that not an own goal oh, that that okay beyond my understanding but that's definitely an own goal in my eyes uh and yeah and what's the last oh no let this highlight play out Nakati throwing Souza Natalie Farage Pio, 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 Pio. Hopefully we can get a counter in this, and we can. 22 is off. Who's that? Aidan Smith. Aidan Smith has one option in the middle. Oh, well, that was appalling, frankly. I mean, he didn't have much cover or options, but that was an appalling chance. And what do we do? Do we take off a defensive member, put on Lane or Shelving, or do we take off, uh, like, Aidan Smith and try and go for a goal? Phil Wright is very good. I'm going to give him a chance. Hopefully he can do something here. So full time 2-0 is our least embarrassing result so far. Yeah, um that's not too bad. 2-0 away against Porto is a pretty good result. So um no, but I still gotta be aggressive because else they'll get upset with me. Um so far, minus nine goal difference. Not the worst. Average of three goals we're losing by every game. But yeah, I will see you for the home tie against Porto in a second. And we're back again for the second game of the episode and well, 10 goals scored in two games. It's not been bad. Left got getting five of them. Uh, he's got four against Tom Pentra, uh, as did Bishop Wisdom, Tommy Lane, and Callum O'Hare getting another goal. He's got three goals in three games. He's been really good for us. Uh, one other signing to tell you about. I'll find him. Here we are. Uh, Ose Bonsu. Um, as I told you, I completed his transfers on 950 a week. Pretty, pretty cheap. A very, very good player, I think. Uh, and sort of replaces Jack Quartes as the backup defensive mid, actually. He more replace replaces our main defensive mid. Uh, but the squad we have today, then, um, Rob Evans. Oh, there's been a fair few changes. I should go through this, I guess. Dylan Reese at right back ahead of Morrison. He's back from injury, and he's just a lot better. Uh, Tommy Lane actually gets the call up ahead of Pilier's, uh in that defence, in that centre-back spot, just because he's right-footed. I do like having a right-footed and left-footed centre-back, but, yeah, those two are in there now. Incredible form Tommy Lane is in, and he's young, but so good i really rate him um and i reckon he's going to be an absolute world beat in the future and he's going to leave us uh that much is for sure uh and then jack simpson gets that left back spot midfield fairly similar only one change rob evans in ahead of koya uh, it's just rob evans is in such good form gotta repay that uh lemony and bishop wisdom in for phil right up front ahead of aiden smith as well aiden smith had his chance last game uh this game is uh, Bishop Wisdom's chance. So yeah, uh, some informed players got picked into the squad ahead of more out of form players. Yep, let's do that. There you go. Uh, and it yeah gives it. Hopefully, hopefully they can do something in this game. Uh, I'm keeping, I'm keeping goalie in ahead of Haller Brown. Uh, so yeah, that's the team for the game. Let's get into it. Our opposition today have gone very defensive. Uh, a sort of five-three-two formation. Very similar players as before. Uh, Trippier, Pio, they've got an extra centre back, I think. Ooh, Oviedo, I don't I don't recognise two of them actually. Or three of them. That might just be my memory though, but still the same two up front. Uh, I'm still very worried, not gonna deny. These guys look amazing. Uh Clayton, yeah, some some of these players are simply world class. This guy especially, this guy, wow, so good. And Farouxai and these two. Yep, they're they're danger men. Um they've got Pio on the left. Looks decent. He's a he's a centre back. Ooh, interesting. I mean, I guess he must have some ability there. Ole, <laughs> I see. I see how a chant can be made about his name. Uh, a very slow Willy Boldy in the centre, and Oviedo on the right. A lot of Argentinian players. Hopefully, we can do something in this game because they're playing so defensive. If we can just keep them out, uh, hold out for a game, a draw, it will be amazing. I think you get like a million, million and a half for a draw or something. So yeah, um, I'll see you in the game. 
First highlight game is going our way. Jordan Jones has the ball in the middle, out to Dingwall. Dingwall over the top, unfortunately, does not reach Bishop Wisdom. And Porto come forward with now only two players forward for them at the moment, but a couple of midfielders are joined in the ranks as Clayton gets in at near post. Alvario scores. Terrible defending by us, absolutely atrocious. Here we see it. Clayton just runs down to this byline, acting as a winger. The young Brazilian gets across the cross and Alvario just sneaks through at that near post. Really, goalie should be doing better and the defence should be doing better then. It's a poor goal to concede, but we have conceded it and gone 1-0 down. Never chance for Porto now. Bolly, Clayton, uh, they're, they're playing it about quite nicely in the middle here. Pio out on the left. He's got a chance to cross it in. Nice save by goalie. Normally keepers let that in their FM and that was quite a good save. Lemony does not get there, but Evans gets a rebound. Wisdom. Lemony, we've got a chance here. Wisdom in good form. Lemony, can he pick out Wisdom again? No, he's tackled. He's just dawdled on the ball, let the ball loose, and now Porto come forward. Sousa in the middle here, runs forward, shoots. Very nice shot. That's all I'll say to that. It was a very nice shot. Uh, it was terrible by us. We really we had the initiative there, and we just let the ball go time and time again. Sousa just sees a gap, sprints into the gap between the players, and rockets it into the top corner. That is actually such a good goal. Um, but unfortunately does see us go 2-0 down just before half time we do have no they have a chance naturally Evans nice save by goalie they've got a corner last action the half probably is a, is a corner Souza to whip it in the Portuguese youngster gets the nice ball in chaos in the box and it's cleared out for a throw a free kick well that was out of nowhere 3-0 yeah they got a free kick just outside the box um <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to say the least Let's see it then. Souza, what does he do? Straight. Oh, that is a pretty nice free kick. A bit higher, and it would have been perfect, like over the wall instead of going through the wall. And yeah, we're 3 0 down. Aggressive. That was terrible. Come on, guys. Grow up here. Two changes for now. Uh, Jack Simpson, terrible game. Come off for Schiving. The Scandinavian makes, uh, I think this is his first game in Champions League, in Champions League, I'm not sure. And Phil Wright comes on for Bishop Wisdom. Hopefully a bit more pace, a bit more striker's instinct up front. We can get a goal. Less reliant on form, more on... Oh, no. Okay, Porto come forward. Farage into Sousa. Sousa forward to Clayton. Clayton has option. I mean, why do we tackle him there? But, oh well. Farage, Sousa. Sousa's coming forward. Out to Trippier. Trippier on this right flank. Crosses one in. Atario back up. Goalie saves. I mean, we've had we've had a decent goalkeeping display in this game. It's been some time since I've said that. Uh, Trippier has the ball on the right now. Obviously, he's going to make an absolute mess up now that I said that. Oviedo, Souza, Clayton, Alvario. Yeah, okay. Maybe should have done better there, goalie. I haven't seen it 3D yet, so I'll withhold judgment. But this game, not going well. 4 0 now. Clayton, what is it? Turns, plays through Alvario, beat the offside trap, and. Why did I say we were having a decent goalkeeping display? Because that was obviously going to happen. The second I said that, absolutely balls it up, the keeper did there. Um, Lemony will come off, though. He's not had the best of games, to say the least. Uh, and Aiden Smith can come on? Not really. He's, they're both poachers. <laughs> He's where there's an advance forward. There we go. Very attacking duo up front. Hopefully a couple of balls over the top and we can get a goal out of nowhere. Highly doubt it though. Sorry to the fans who did turn up to the stadium today. It's probably a good attendance. We will check that before ending episode. We've had two shots, one on target, and that's all we've done all game. It's not been good enough, I will admit. Pilliers, Jones, forward to Smith. Aiden Smith tackled. Laura Chu is through here. Pilliers, nice tackle though. Sheeveng out to Topper. Does have a couple of options up front. I mean, I say that, but my strikers are playing as wingers. Makes no sense. But yeah, Souza, Lorenzo, Alvario, Torres apart and hit the crossbar. Sheaving clears it, only as far as on media. And yeah, highlight over. Looks like hopefully 4 0 will be the end score. They just had a corner. Missed the corner, fortunately, but out to Almedia. Back to Pio. Almedia, Souza. He's got a chance. Nice block. It's utter chaos in the box. Alvario, 5 0. Ah. <sighs> Well, here's to hoping that this is the worst result of this Champions League group stage, because at least it means we won't lose 5-0 again. That was utter chaos. Ping-pong in the box, and they get the ball. Plays it through. Alvario stands to... See, that is what annoys me about keepers in this game. It's the fact he got there, but then didn't save it. His hands were in the right place, but magically an inch off. 
because that's football manager for you. Sheaving out to top out. Can we get a goal here? We can. It not. Jones, Smith. Oh my god. He skied it from the touch from the inside the six yard box. Five nil. No, I will be harsh. I'm far from pleased. Not good enough, guys. Uh, and that sees us on minus fourteen goal difference. Not the best. Four games, one goal, fifteen conceded. Yeah, but it's 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 not looking overly good, we'll be honest. But Ah oh well, let's have a look what the attendance was. 14,000, not bad. Uh, it beat the Leverkusen attendance actually, so that sets a new record. Um, let's, let's quickly skip forward to humiliation for Kamarvin. Yes, I, I know, I was there. Um, to what our attendance was like and to see how much money we got from it. So yeah, here we go. Record attendance. Yeah, a thousand and a half more than previously and an extra 25k. That's not that much actually. Um, but a decent amount of money. Caesar's sitting quite comfortably above 15 million. Uh, pretty nice. We've got <laughs> almost no wage budget uh, left. We're, we're spending our entirety of the wage budget, which is quite crazy to think, considering we've got 4 million transfer budget. Um, I've made a couple of transfers actually. You can see one here Chris Davis, the 18 year old central midfielder. Looks semi decent. He's uh, I signed him for the end of the season. He's currently playing for Kevin Druid fairly regularly. I'd let him play there a bit longer. It's it's a no loss. He's like on hundred a week. It, the transfer fee was about ten k. It's no money at all, and it's quite nice to have the option if he does turn out to be an amazing centre mid. Because currently we are lacking a bit in the centre mid department. We've got John Bowen, uh, we're uh, Liam Bowen even. This guy, I have some hope for. He's only seventeen. He looks pretty decent if we can work on his rate and uh, work rate and strength and a couple more, you know, workman skills. Give him a few more of them. I'm not overly confident about Sean Hughes. He looks decent, but he's just he's just what Liam Bowen could end up as. But Liam Bowen could end up much better, which is sort of what I'm hoping for. Uh, in terms of other young midfielders, we don't really have that many. If we go to the under 19s, we're not overly stacked. Kevin Jeffcott looks decent, looks really decent, well-rounded. Um, but again, not nothing world-class. Matthew Lewis uh, looks like a decent centre back, but he is lacking some key attributes there. Um, yeah. I mean, youth isn't really the most important thing, but it would be nice to possibly get a couple, especially uh, I've hit a gold mine, I reckon, in this guy here, Tommy Lane. Absolute gold mine, I reckon. If we can beat his, increase his pace, this guy truly can be wonderful. Uh, and Stevie Allen, Stephen Allen, I, I've got some high hopes for this guy. If we can, we can work a bit over them, get him, get him to progress as he could. He'd be pretty good. Um, apart from that, the rest of the players are sort of looking mediocre but nothing overly incredible um, but yeah thank you for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode uh, two demolishings again actually the first one wasn't that bad only 2-0 and 5-0 against Porto next episode will be Leverkusen and Shakhtar Donetsk so yeah thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and well goodbye